It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Looks like I'm getting pulled over right now. Here he comes. Hello. Hey, my name is Corporal Greg. I'm a state police. You have any idea why I got you stopped here? No. Well, you know how fast you're going across that flat back there? No. Okay, so you're 63 miles an hour. You know what the speed limit is there. Uh, here's my information here. You don't pull that out of there for me, please, sir. Do I have to? Yes. Okay. There we go. Did you say you did or did not know what the speed limit is through there? I, uh, I'm, I don't answer questions. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. You still live on uh, Nakoma Lane? Your information's right there, sir. Okay, so here's the imperative part of this is that the courts need to get a hold of you, that it goes to the correct address. Mm -hmm. Is this a current address for you? I've already submitted my information to you. You have everything you need there. Fair enough. That's expired, by the way. Okay. Okay. What here, I, I can pull do? up... Uh, Excuse me? Uh, what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and pull in front of this vehicle here. Okay. Move around that side, pull in front of her. I'm going to pull up my current... Um, what you're going to do for me, sir? This yes. is not going to go the way that you're wanting it to. I don't what want I it to go you, this way at all. What I need you to do is pull your vehicle in front of that okay, vehicle. Okay, but here's, so here's gonna, a... Sir. But I'm, I'm, I'm submitting you... I'll explain you. to you. I'll look at it in a minute. I'm trying to ask. Okay. Pull your vehicle. Yeah, we got Idaho State Patrol right back here. He's uh, not really wanting to play nice here, so. Yeah, the truck is running. Yep, I've all, I'm already um, not answering questions. I've already given him my license, my registration, and insurance, and uh, I'm, he's asked me a few questions, like, you know, is my address correct? It's things like that, and I'm not answering. He just needs to write me a ticket and get me out of here.
I don't know why this is taking so long. He's just sitting back there. Yeah, we're back on the road, making my way through Idaho. Get my phone plugged in so I can get some charge on it just as much as I can. If you guys would share this uh, live stream, try to get it out there. We got 84 people watching right now. We need to get this uh, pumped up a little bit more. Hit that thumbs up button. Get this thing trending a little bit. I've already been on this live stream for three minutes. He's had me pulled over for at least, I don't know, five or six minutes before that. And uh, I don't know how long he's gonna try to stretch this out. Try, probably till the dogs get here. He's Idaho State Police. Uh, he claims I was, that I was speeding, that I was doing 63. He was coming the other direction and uh, charge while I'm on here because it's like my phone is getting hot and just to be clear guys I'm not an auditor I'm just trying to live my life Barger. 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 I apologize. Uh, can I see your uh, insurance again, please? Uh, I looked at it. it. It looks like it's expired by seven days. So. So you have a current one? It, it is current, but I just don't have don't, the you don't proof, have proof of it. Of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you had, a, even if you had an electronic copy, I could look at it and be good. But you don't. I. Okay. Uh, I. I don't. I'm not able to pull it up on my phone. Okay. Give me just a moment. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have even said that, but whatever. All right, sir, if I can, I'll give you your documents back to you. You received two citations today. You received a citation for speeding and a citation for the insurance. You're being cited in the Boise County Magistrate Court. That's over in Idaho City. You're going to wind up having until August 30th to take care of this. I'd like you to appear in person, be not guilty. Taking care of it through the mail, or there's also going to be a website on here, uh, right down here at the bottom. If you choose to use the website option, just ask you about 24 to 48 hours for it to load into the system, and then you can take care of it anytime between then and the 30th. Uh, one thing I will say is that. In Idaho, I can't set the court date beyond 21 days. The court only meets on Monday. So the 6th, which would be the next available court date, I can set it within that 21 days is a holiday. So that's why the short turnaround. If you need additional time, the court's telephone number is gonna be on here. Just give them a call and they'll work with you on that. Do you have any questions, sir? All right, I sure appreciate your cooperation. Have a safe day. There goes Mr. Officer. 
I guess we'll see you in court. Well, that did go the way that I thought it, that didn't go the way I thought it would go. He started acting tough and uh, acting like, uh, you know, this ain't going to go the way you think it's going to go and all this kind of thing. And uh, yeah, he was fast. I thought he was going to pull out all the stops, try to search because they always try to search. But in this case, he didn't uh, try to search. It's kind of astounding. But um, yeah. I guess we'll just see him in court. Um, I'm not leaving here until he drives away. Possibly because of the live stream. I mean, I was recording and he knew that I was recording. So it's possible that that's uh, part of what made this quick. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to get on my way, but uh, everybody here watching, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Get this uh, live stream boosted a little bit. Uh, being nice gets you nowhere these days. Yeah, he's still sitting back here. He's writing another lady a ticket that's in front of me. Uh, she's She was coming through the mountain pass behind me. And um, she was going the same speed I was, I guess. Uh, I don't know. She was just, she was behind me. So um, we were kind of traveling together. And uh, he's probably writing her a ticket now. And um, she, he had us do this weird shuffle where, you know, like he pulled me out in front of her. And then she, he made her go around me. And then uh, back to the, uh, yeah, so I don't even know what road I'm on. I'm on like 21, something like that in Idaho. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I think I'm going to send this over to Ticket Busters or something like that. Um, see, I don't believe he used any kind of, I don't know. He may have used a radar detector. I didn't ask him anything. I wasn't getting into a conversation with him. I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't ask him what he used. I didn't argue. I just said, I'm not answering any questions. And uh, here's my documents. So he went, wrote the ticket, and has me um, free. I can leave at this point. So uh, he said he's writing me, he wrote me two citations. So one is uh, exceeding the speed, and the other is for uh, proof of insurance. Yeah. Mr. Barger, you're free to go, sir. Yep. He's, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go when he's still behind me, so I don't have a loudspeaker to talk back to him, so I don't really know what to do, but I'm just going to sit here until he leaves, so. We can sit here and watch him deal with this other car. So I don't really, I don't feel like driving in front of him. You know, he can leave first. Uh, no, he's not going to do anything else. I mean, he's he's not going to bring the dogs. He's I'm done with him. There's no reason for him to further contact me or anything like that. Uh, you know, I have no obligation to leave right now. So we're just going to sit here and... Uh,
my phone is getting really super hot, so I'm trying to, uh, I can't really read messages. I'm going to keep the uh, brightness all the way down so the screen's barely even on, but... This is upsetting. This is bothersome. You guys are still there. This lady in front of me, things are taking a little bit longer with her for some reason. Ball, sir, can you hear me? I'm gonna have you go ahead and turn your car back around and come back out onto the highway for me, please. What in the world? Why is this guy doing all this? He doesn't want me, like, recording him. Here goes the girl. I don't know what in the world this guy's doing. Uh, apparently he was just waiting for me to leave. I don't know. I'm gonna drive around a little bit. I'm just going to sit here and record this guy for now. I really want to leave actually because I don't want to I'm not uh, I don't want to play with fire. I don't want this guy to like get riled up and but I did move my car to come over here and see what he's up to. I don't know. I kind of feel like 
this is for her protection too. So up smiley she's getting a citation as well it looks like he's asking if uh, she knows me Certainly looking at me a lot. Sorry, I can't read messages or anything. I'm a little focused on what's going on here, and also my phone's so hot, I can't have the display up on bright. It'll overheat. I'm surprised it's going for this long. I turn the brightness way down, so I can't really see anything that's on the screen. But if you're watching, give that thumbs up button a smash. Let's get this uh, video pumped up a little bit. bag out the window. I'm going to search her bag. What the hell is this? I have no idea what's going on right now. He opened up that bag, pulled out the very first, which is like a little fanny pack, and he stopped there. He's been talking to her about whatever's in that fanny pack looking thing. I don't understand. And more stuff out the window. <sighs> it was 
very weird. He's giving her a brick sobriety test. It wasn't looking good for her. Sorry about my hands. I have it zoomed in. It's kind of hard to... Hit that thumbs up button if you guys have not done so already, if you wouldn't mind. If you look in the description of this video, exactly where I'm located, uh, I put in the address of the place I was pulled over at, so that's our location here in Idaho.
He let her go, but he kept whatever it was in the car. I don't get it. I don't understand what that was. I don't fucking get it. Thanks for watching my back on that, sir. I appreciate it. Have a safe day. Yeah. He said, thanks for watching my back on that, sir. Have a good day. Like I was just, uh, I went another over there. Or at least another guy talking to him. She lost the weed and got a ticket to appear. I wonder why he put that in her car, but I don't know. I guess I'm going to end this live stream. I was uh, just driving towards uh, Oregon and uh, just trying to get out of uh, Idaho, and I almost made it. <laughs> almost made it. <laughs> 